Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to take you through Azure Storage Architecture. One of the fundamental building blocks of Azure Storage Architecture is Storage Account. Storage Account is more like a container that holds most of Azure Storage services. At Storage Account level, you will configure your replication strategies, you will configure your performance level, whether the data needs to be encrypted or not, in which location data needs to be stored, etc. So at storage account level, you will configure a lot of settings and within the storage account, you will have blob storage, which is used to store documents, media files, etc. And then you have file storage using which you can create a file share and mount on the virtual machines. So for example, if you have multiple web servers trying to access files in a common shared area, you can create a file share and mount that as a drive on all these web servers to make the data within the drive available for all these web servers. In one of the labs, I'm going to show you how to create a file share and mount the same on Azure Virtual Machine. And the next storage service that resides within storage account is Azure Tables, using which you can create tables and entities within the table. And finally, we have Azure Queues, where you, you can post messages into the queue or read messages from the queue. Among all these four storage services, the most important storage service is Blob Storage. Blob Storage is not only used for storing data files, media files, etc. It is also used for different Azure storage services. For example, if you are created a virtual machine, the OS disk and data disk associated with that virtual machine will in turn get stored in a blob storage as page blobs. This is one important point you need to remember. Whenever you create an Azure virtual machine, the disks associated with that virtual machine will be stored in a storage account, in particular within the blob storage as page blobs. In blob storage lecture, I'm going to explain in detail about this. In addition to this, the blob storage is also used to store your on-premise data also. For example, let's say you have an on-premise data center and in order to address the issue of data growth or business continuity, Azure provided a number of storage services. The first one is Store Simple. Store Simple is an Azure storage service that is used to archive your inactive data from your on-premise data center into the cloud. When Store Simple picks up that inactive data, it stores that inactive data in a blob storage. Similarly, from a hybrid cloud perspective, we have Site Recovery also, which is a business continuity service from Microsoft Azure. Using Azure Site Recovery, you can replicate your on-premise workloads into the cloud. And when your on-premise data center goes down, then you can spin off your virtual machines using the OS images that you have replicated in your blob storage. So I hope you can see how critical the blob storage is. It is not only used for storing documents, media files, and unstructured data like that. It is also used by different Azure services to hold the data. And one last Azure service I would like to touch upon, which is Azure Backup. Using Azure Backup, you can take the backup of your Azure Virtual Machine. It's not only Azure Virtual Machine, you can take the backup of on-premise virtual machine also. But just for illustration purposes, I have shown in this diagram, as taking the backup of Azure Virtual Machine. So when you are using Azure Backup Service, you will create a recovery services vault and you will schedule a backup. Azure Backup will take the backup of your Azure Virtual Machine and store that image into the recovery services vault. And whenever you want to restore it, you can able to restore it from that backup image. So one key thing that you need to remember is Azure Backup doesn't use blob storage. It has its own storage, which is Recovery Services Vault. Keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm going to take you through in detail of Azure Backup in Monitoring and Diagnostic section of the course. But in the subsequent lectures of this section, I'm going to take you through Storage Account and I'm going to take you through Blob Storage. We have number of labs on how to programmatically create blobs, create containers and upload blobs into that container, etc. I will also show you how to create a file share and mount the file share on Azure Virtual Machine, how to create tables programmatically 
and also create entities in the table programmatically how you can create queues how you can retrieve the messages from the queue in batches etc so we are going to go in detail about this storage account and all other services within that storage account see you in the next lecture